the Henrietta Knight Handicap Chase. His next three miles, three and a half furlongs. This one, odd distance for a grade three handicap. At the top, Dragon's Cry for Leon van Rensburg. Target, Craig Beckwith. Battle Thralls, Leon van Rensburg. Knightly Contract. Craig Beckwith, Haberley, Darren Thompson, Agent Decoy, Padre Hogan, The Teacher, Joshua Sutherland, Law Society for Graham Clutterbuck, Good Queen, David Hurley, Watchtower, Graham Clutterbuck, Fermion Freeze, David Robertson, and Cord Jonathan for Alex Cherry, a field of 12 in this one then, three miles and three and a half furlongs, the, as I said before, odd trip that away, and racing... The first slow jump by Dragon's Cry, but he still landed in the lead. The pace is somewhat pedestrian as they head towards the second of the 22. The short run to the second, and the leader jumps it much better this time. One or two a bit scruffy in the pack, but they all got over it okay in the end. And heading up the straight now towards the next league. Crowd cheering them on, and Dragon's Cry has gone into a four or five length lead from the teacher in second and nightly contract down this near side is third Habley is close up so is watch towers they get over the third that will be the final fence next time round this one will be the last one next time round on this course and the leader's gone straight through that one again and two mistakes in the first four fences for the leader dragons cry not a good sign so far but they've still got a long way to go and he's got time to get himself sorted as they race uphill towards the Cross fence away from the stands. They're all over that one okay with. Dragons Cry now, good six lengths clear of Law Society in second. Knightly Contract on the inside rail is third. Then Habley is fourth. The orange sleeves of Cord Jonathan on the outside is fifth. And you can just see the yellow cap of Battle Thralls on the other side of Watchtower as they get to the sixth. Which they all stream over nicely in there. Talking of streams, they'll head to the water jump with Dragon's Cry. Probably as much as eight lengths clear now. We often see Leon horses going this far in front race. And copying Josh's tactics from last week, but it's Dragon's Cry in the lead. Called Jonathan Wine on the track has now moved through into second as they get to this ditch. Which they all get over okay. The target. Just the early back mark, got a long way to go yet. And race up to the next Dragon's Cry, continuing to lead. Called Jonathan on the wide out. So there's a fall there, it's Hammerley. Hammerley's gone, so it's Darren Thompson's. And still a problem now for Darren, he wins or falls a lot of the time. And Dragon's Cry is the one who's most likely to fall so far, but he's now jumping okay in front. Oh, five or six lengths into this ditch. And there's a fall there, it's Josh, it's. Um, Graham Clutterbox has gone this time, Law Society. So Law Society is gone. He obviously thought that one was going to be a flat horse, with what he called it, but uh, maybe it jumped like a flat horse there, and that's why he's out. So Law Society is gone. And Dragon's Cry is five clear. Of Cord Jonathan in second. Knightly Contract is third. And there's a big bunch of them pretty much together, and a gap back to the back marker who is Battle Thrall. So Leon is top and tail in the field at the moment as they get to the 11th. It's the midway point in the jumping. And those that remain all jumped in okay. With Dragon's Cry in the lead. Oh, Cord Jonathan and Knightly Contract. Gap of two lengths then to Fermion Freeze and Good Queen. With Agent Decoy in the yellow getting a bit closer. Target's also moving through the field nicely on the inside. Watchtower towards the rear of the back marker is Battle Thralls as they take fence 12. Which they're all safely over. And towards the one that'll be the last on the next circuit. And all the remaining one has got over that one okay. And they're past the post then there. Past the stand. And swing left handed race up towards this cross fence taking them away from the stands then. One more on the back straight before the water and then all the way around again as they get over the 14th and they're all safely over that one with Dragon's Cry continuing to lead, been in the lead all the way Knightly Contract is now second, Fermion Freeze is third, Agent Decoy is fourth 
and good queen of the teacher called Jonathan has just dropped back into the pack and he's giving that one a bit of a breather as they take this plain fence which they all got over a couple of one or two a bit scruffy on landing particularly Fermi and Freeze is now dropped to the back as they come to the water jump with Dragon's Cry three lengths clear of the teacher who's moved through in a second Agent Decoy is in third then comes Nightly Contract, Good Queen, called Jonathan now switch to the outside, Target still going the shortest way around with Watchtower, Fermi and Freeze and Battle Thralls are all still there within 10 lengths of the leader as they take this ditch, which they all take nicely. Inside the final mile now, and Dragon's Cry, about to be joined I think by the teacher, closest as anything's got to this leader since the start of the race, and there's one got at the back there, Target's gone. So Craig Beck with Target, he's been Making steady progress is now out of it. And Dragon's Cry kicks on again, two lengths clear. Of the teacher in second, Watchtower is the one who's made good ground out of the pack as they take the, th the ninth, 19th, sorry, that was a, another ditch. And Dragon's Cry is three clear racing downhill towards the final three fences. Then Dragon's Cry in the lead, this downhill fence might catch a few out. The one that's making a good bit of... Ground on the outside is Agent Decoy, Battle Thralls, the second Leon Van Rensburg horse has come from nowhere, Fermi and Threes is also now coming through as well as they get down to this third last fence and it's Agent Decoy who takes it up, the first change of lead has seen Agent Decoy take the lead, here comes Battle Thralls, Battle Thralls jumps into second, Fermi and Threes is third, then comes the teacher, Dragon's Cry has gone out like a light, Watchtower is going past that one as well now and as they race down towards the turn for home and the final two fences and it's Agent Decoy by a length to Battle Thralls in second then comes Fermi and Freeze in third then after that one is the Tija gap back to the Watchtower and Dragon's Cry they're coming down towards this turn now it's only a slight turn as they come towards the home straight Agent Decoy's got two fences to take he's two lengths clear of in second place now the Tija over the second last good jump by the leader and a better jump by the horse in second the Tija is powering up the hill as they come towards the final fence and the Tija hits the front and skips over it and gets away from it really quickly and has suddenly brought four lengths between himself and the rest of them. There's still a final to go. But go and queue up at the windows to collect your money. Because look at this thing. The teacher has just shot six, seven, eight lengths clear. After jumping the final fence and has taken this one very easily indeed. So the teacher takes it. Good coin second. Agent decoy. Fermi and Freeze. Watchtower. And all the way back to call Jonathan. So the question is, is that a gold cup horse? Because three miles, three and a half furlongs. It's... So an extra furlong and a half of a gold cup, isn't he? And he didn't take the lead till the last, so does he need that distance? And is it a three mile fiver? Interesting one there for Joshua Sutherland. The teacher takes it. Good queen for David Hooley was second agent decoy, Padre Hogan third, Fermi on freeze, David Rawson fourth, and Watchtower for Graham Clitterbuck was fifth.